play coming up. Oh, these are tough situations. What are you going to do on the offensive side? There's only so much you can do. If I was the defense, I would look for a screen. Third and 12 to go. Ball thrown incomplete. Great coverage there by the defense. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The kick is good. You always want to be rewarded for a nice drive in a football game, even when it's a field goal, because you've made a lot of good plays, you've executed them, you've got yourself in position to get some points, and that field goal just reinforces everything. And Curley's taking a knee here, so the ball will be spotted at the 20. Trotting onto the field, a quarterback who was entrusted with the starting position as a rookie back in 2013, Geno Smith. Well, everybody said the New York Jets in 2013 were going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL. Intercepted! They bring him to the turf. a rough way to get the game started, isn't it, Phil? Come out and throw an early pick. Oh, it is. It's a terrible way to start for the quarterback and everybody involved, but I'll tell you this. I think it was a terrible call. So the quarterback, when the play's not there, throw it away. He took a chance, and that's why it was intercepted. The Dolphins won in a runaway last week, Phil, and now they're going to try to win one that's going to come down to the wire. I think all the teams in the league know when you're sharp, you're going to win the games, and that's the easy way to win. But can you find a way to win when your football team is not as sharp? We're going to find out. Split backfield here. The Dolphins have it at the 39. On the money. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. And Matthews is in the slot. Now first and ten. Catch made. That time it's a short pass to the receiver, and I give him all the credit. He takes a short pass and turns it into a long game. He has the move to get it done, and he did that time. And incomplete, tried to fit it into double coverage that time. And now they'll try over again on second down. Newton still has it. Incomplete as he was looking short. Boy, it's third goal. Close game here. You want to get a touchdown. That's what you want. You come away with three, that's going to be a big disappointment for your offense. Offense lines up here. Third and goal at the five. Looking across the middle, Calvin Johnson with the catch. The offense back out on the field here for this fourth and short play. Goal line defense on the field. And he takes off. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. The head coach decides he wants to be the aggressor in this situation. On fourth and goal, he goes for it. Nice play call that time. Dolphins for the extra point. Extra point is good. The Dolphins had great starting field position following the interception, and they did a good job not squandering that opportunity to score. And certainly the defense will be looking to force another turnover in a moment here. Harvin will run this one out. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Tight end in motion. Smith standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Out to the left, sticks to his hands. The Jets now move the chains. 
Good job by the receiver running into that defense through the zone, finding the open space and making a nice catch. Ivory lined up in the backfield. First down at the 36. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Did not get both feet down. Second down coming up. Offense lines up here. And Ivory's hand at the football. And Peakley in on the tackle. The Jets are at the line, facing third down, which was not an issue for them last week as they converted a number of times in crucial situations. Third down and eight. Throws to the right. He has the grab, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open. But no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. They come to the line, and it's first down. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Peterson's in the backfield, single back set. Hits Gronk, shakes past the defender into the open, and he's brought to the ground. What a nice catch by the receiver. Gets past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. Newton's going to throw once again on this down. Has his target. That's a good job by the quarterback. He read the defense, nothing open deep, so he throws it short, and it puts him in great position for a second down play call. Second down, three for the first. Peterson, and he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Peterson's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Newton's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Makes the catch. Allen's there to take it down. The Dolphins rely on their passing attack, and today it's been a factor as usual. Newton's, of course, in charge of that passing attack, and he's looked good again in this first half. Well, look, when I say a guy has it all and he can really throw the football, what I mean by that is he has great touch. He can throw the ball softly, drop it into the right spot to the wide receiver, and when he needs to, he can turn on it and throw that thing hard and stick it in between defenders. They'll take the snap from inside the red zone. A week ago, they had a lot of success inside the 20. Split backfield here. Newton's going to take it from the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Six in the books. When we're talking about some of the fastest humans on Earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. The Dolphins line up now for the point after. And the extra point, the kick is good. The Jets now have even more work to do to get back into this one. He scores 17 to 0. The Jets are ready to return the kick. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. First down. Offense readying for the snap. And Curley's a receiver in the slot. Smith's got it in the gun. Harvin's got the catch and the first. 
Well, when you play in this cover three defense where three defenders are playing deep, that's great. You stop the deep passes, but who's going to stop the quick ones? Well, nobody. That's why the quarterback and the receivers are having really good success to only slant patterns. And Ivory's marked down after a gain of nine. It's now second down. That's second down coming up. Geno Smith under center. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Keekley's in on the tackle. Pretty predictable call that time by the offense. It's second and short. The defense is thinking one thing. They are thinking run, and they stop it. Third and short. Smith's got it after the play fake. Has his man. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Smith's job is to sell that play fake, and boy, did he do it that time. It fooled the defense, and they get to completion. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. First down at the 47. Toss to the outside. They'll meet him this time behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. And Curley's lined up now as a slot receiver. Smith's back in shotgun formation. And he's forced to the ground. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. The Dolphins and the Jets twice a year and always a very good rivalry. It is a good rivalry, the AFC East, because the New York Jets have so many fans and live down in Miami now. So when these two teams get together, it brings out a lot of emotions. I don't want to say bad blood. They don't like each other. I know that for sure. Any game come to mind through the history of Jets-Dolphins matchups? Oh, well, shoot, the one that all, well, there's a couple. A.J. Dewey, the playoff game down in Miami when all the rain was hitting. And then, of course, Dan Marino's fake spike and touchdown throw to Mark Duper. Those two come to my mind. Murray's got it now. That picks up 11. They face first down. Play action. The catch is made. Slides off the hit. Fights through contact. Allen's there to make the tackle. The Dolphins have tried to lean on the passing attack so far. Beckham has been a favorite of his quarterback, and he's proven why he deserves to be targeted so often today. You're right. He deserves to be targeted because he is one of the better wide receivers in the NFL. And when he catches it, look out. He can get yards after the kick. Alvin Johnson taken down. 